Good morning everybody, welcome back for some more high tier War Thunder Tanks gameplay today with the Leopard A1A1 in my continuing quest to get to the KPZ-70 and then make another first 10. Very similar to the MBT-70, although hopefully much better results. I don't know, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Anyway, this is a battle from 12 October 2017 and uh, I had... A whole bunch of boosters turned on. The battle right exactly prior to this one, of course, I had a 300% research booster turned on. And we got battle on Eastern Europe, and it just naturally went terribly. I got one kill with my Leopard A1A1, and then got hit by, like, five Soviet tanks all one right after another. So, as usual, right here alone I have a better score result than uh, I have in that previous battle. So, oh well. So we got the capture, and one thing to point out here, for all the times I've complained in a video about somebody on the team capturing the first capture point and not waiting for the rest of the team to get there and join in, watch at the end of the battle and see how many of our team gets killed in their first spawn and doesn't have a chance to respawn again, and then pay attention to how many of our team could have potentially made it to the first capture point there at B and maybe had enough points to respawn again. And think about how potentially different this battle could have turned out. Anyway, I uh, moved through the park after the first capture on the B point here to see if I can move up and uh, ambush some guys at their C point, and maybe be able to move in past the uh, move in behind them on the uh, back road there, the back the back alley road all the way in the east, in the ten column. And as you can see from the artillery hitting on the C point, there's a whole bunch of enemies on C, and I was able to move in and get a pretty good surprise on them. I should have shot him in the turret. But I was going for the uh, single crew kill on the lower hit. Obviously, he didn't see where I was here. And then he got killed afterwards, so it didn't really matter. But he clearly did not know where that shot came from. It was looking down the road, so that was nice. I got a good hit on the... Uh, what should have been the breach. Although, and obviously, I didn't do quite as much damage to his horizontal turret drive here as the game said I did. And even though I fired above his uh, tracks there, still hit him in the tracks, but... I had apparently done enough damage to the T-62 that his uh, reload was slow enough that I was able to kill him before he was able to get a shot off. I thought I was dead there. Now I'm guessing this KPZ-70, or I mean MBT-70 rather, must have been already damaged or something because he should have certainly been able to shoot me there. I got a pretty good hit into him. I was trying to hit him in the fuel tank there where I usually get killed in my MBT-70 and instead I just killed out his entire crew. Which, of course, works. Somebody else killed the M60A2 there, which was very nice. And then I was able to get a uh, capture with my Leopard A1A1 for my second capture of the game, along with a kill. Now, as I said in the title, this is my first really good battle with the Leopard A1A1. And that's basically because after I finished the first 10 for the Leopard A1A1, I moved on to other nations to get more tanks researched and first 10s done and so on and so on. And I've really not played my Leopard A1A1 almost at all. So that's why it's this is so long after the Leopard A1A1 first 10 before I have the uh, really first good battle. So I moved over here to come in and try to hit them from behind on the back road. But as soon as I crossed that KPZ-70 and then the RU-251, I knew, well, all right, obviously the back road is clear. So I moved up to try and move get in behind this uh, bit of wreckage here and the tree along to the side and set up in an ambush position to cover anyone coming back to try and capture the sea point back away from us. So that's what I was doing here. Fairly well hidden. So you can see my random puppy squad mate there in the RU-251 is hitting somebody just northwest of him. And I'm going to move in and try to get to him and help him here. Because there's not a lot going on at the capture point I'm at at sea, so... Also, you may notice on uh, the score screens here when I show them that we are controlling almost the entire map, but we have lost most of our team, and the enemy team is still mostly in the battle, so that's not a good thing. So, make a look up here to the right, don't see anybody, and then naturally, as soon as I look away, I take a hit, which thankfully somehow didn't do any damage. 
Although someone's obviously coming from up near there, even though we have two guys up in the northeast towards their spawn, but I'm going to move up here and see if I can find who just shot at me. Which unfortunately distracts me away from helping my random puppy squad mate in the RU251 and he ends up getting killed, even though I was trying to mark the guy that was hitting him for their, our other teammates down near the A point to try and react and do something about it, but it was to no avail. As soon as I come around this corner, I see a Type 62. I panicked a little bit and fired my shot too quickly. And just before I can get fully reloaded, he gets his second shot off and takes out my breach. I mean, it was just before. He's hitting me. I've got a chance a shot here before I can get reloaded because he's going to get another shot off again before I'm going to finish my reload. And in this case, it actually worked and paid off and I was able to kill him before my breach exploded, which I really didn't think was going to work. But thankfully, I was able to repair after that. Got fully repaired, moved out again, trying to press towards the A point a little bit here and uh, help our team take it back. You can see a bit of an airstrike at the A point there, so I know somebody just got bombs dropped on them from a friendly and that's where I'm heading towards. You can see there, most of our team is gone, most of their team is alive, even though we control most of the map. Very precarious situation here, and as soon as I come around the corner, I just barely see a Centurion Mark 10, who thankfully was watching down towards the C point, and I was able to knock his crew out. Which probably was a very, very lucky break for me there. Roll into the A point, start taking it back, you can see somebody up in front of me taking hits from an enemy. I'm going to try to climb up on top of the uh, platform here to get a shot into the T-62 up here that's threatening my teammate. And right as I get my gun on him, he gets killed just as I fire. But that's okay. I'd rather that I don't get the kill and my teammate does rather than he kills my teammate and I kill him right after because at least I have a teammate left alive here. The enemy team takes the C point away from us right as we're taking the A point. We get a capture again for my third capture of the battle. And just as I was about to head back down towards the B point to defend it, I realized I probably should push up towards the C point. I've got a teammate halfway towards the B point already, so I'll see what I can do back towards C. Now, unfortunately, he was watching where I was coming from, and I didn't quite get the shot I wanted, obviously. Back into him. Tried to fire some machine guns off to mark him for the team, and by the time my gun can even reload, I've lost pretty much everything useful on the tank. And it's just a matter, basically, of waiting till he reloads and kills me again, before I can even mark him. Too bad, because if I'd hit him a little bit lower, I would've got him through the lower front plate and probably killed him. Not too bad of a start for the Leopard A1A1, though. And as it happens so often, somebody who kills me ends up being somebody who watches my videos. It's kind of funny. I was going to move up back towards the C point and try and catch it from the side. Decided to go around and come in from behind the C point there. And of course, I run into someone from the enemy team here and somehow I got a random snapshot off that hit him and avoided a deadly shot back in return and was able to get my gun stabilized in enough time to get a kill shot on the M41A1 there which I really honestly didn't think that uh, I was going to survive that encounter there but I did for once in the JPZ And then I decided to change the angle I was coming from and just go up the uh, side road, well not the, the back road, but rather the main road here between B and C, as I had already been marked by uh, the M41A1's fire. And yes, I have actually been on a no-kidding 
vacation, essentially work funded. My job requires me to travel a lot, and so I take my laptop with me, and that's actually why this video, you may have noticed that the audio is kind of screwed up a little bit, because I had to re-record the audio from a replay, because I had set my computer to output through the HDMI to a TV in the hotel, and I didn't realize that I hadn't restarted my computer since then, so when I DVR'd this battle at the end of it, because it went well enough, the um, NVIDIA Shadowplay file ended up having no audio at all, so I had to go back and re-record it from a replay, so it's slightly out of sync in a couple places. It's pretty clean, but that's why you don't get things like the narrator saying we've captured the zones, or people using the in-game commentary saying I need help, or good, or excellent, or whatever. I'm moving back down towards the middle there to help my random squad mate. I thought I got hit from behind, and then by the time I could even react to where I was taking hits from, it didn't really matter, and an MBT-70 had finished me off there. And here's about where the battle went from completely in our hands to a total disaster and terrible. You can see how much of our team is left, not very much, and all that time we spent controlling the entire battlefield and holding most of the points, or at least two of the points, enough to win, and it was pretty much all for nothing because our team, most of them, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, um, of the status screen, most of them didn't have enough points to respawn again. Now, they didn't all head for the B point at the start. But a few of them did, and if the guy up at the front had waited for everyone to capture, on maps like this, where the team can actually all get to a first capture point, and the enemy team can't really reliably threaten you at that point, everyone should wait till you can all get in the capture and everybody gets 300 spawn points. It does cost you some research points, yes, but you all get spawn points, and those are more important to winning the battle. Anyway, when I respawned here in my Geppard, it started me at the farthest west point of the uh, right side southeast spawn. And instead of being able to go back and set an ambush at the B point for the MBT-70 who had killed me at the C point, I now had to go to the A, a point and just get rocked by what I thought at first was a Type 65. But it turns out it's actually an M19. And once I had a research or a, a repair time rather, of over 20 seconds, even 10 seconds, it was pretty much going to be a done deal. I wasn't going to repair before he was going to be able to get enough shots into me to cause further and further and further and further damage. And then once he rode around behind the backside of the statue, it was all over. Which effectively meant the battle was all over, because now the enemy team holds all three points. We have almost no one left on the ground in tanks. And that's going to pretty much end the battle for us. But the battle wasn't necessarily over for me. It was just pretty much a sealed deal as far as uh, being a loss rather than a victory. But as you can see there, we don't have a whole lot of force left on the ground. And our MiG-15 had gone back to land to get new bombs and ground attack ordnance, so I was a little annoyed with him during the battle, but it wasn't he wasn't really doing anything really, um, I don't know, I can't think of the word I'm trying to find here, but he wasn't doing anything uh, questionable, I guess, or he was alright. I came back in for the statue looking for the M19, of course I couldn't see him because he's on the far side of the statue there. So I'm going to haul back around to my AR-234B and do what I can to see if I can spot him again, or spot anything for that matter, drop bombs on. Now the M19 is just to the left there by the statue behind the back side of that building. I can see a couple other enemy tanks moving here, but of course I didn't see them in time to drop bombs on them. So I'm going to turn around and come back one more time, which is essentially suicidal in high tier tank battles because everyone is going to see you coming and they're going to be ready to shoot at you as soon as you roll out of your turn. And that is exactly what an MBT-70 did, although to be fair, his first shots hit my pilot and killed him. It wasn't even like he shot my tank a lot. It was just over. I elected not to burn a backup for either my Gepard or my Leopard A1A1 there, so I came back in my uh, HE219 
and was hoping to just get uh, some high velocity armor piercing 30 mil shots into somebody set them on fire maybe or at least do some damage and try to salvage some measure of uh, research or money here because I don't have any aircraft to research left for the Germans I just have uh, money to gain basically with a premium aircraft here so I'm trying to home in on anybody with tracers and uh, hopefully hit them with uh, HVAPs and this KPZ-70 gives me, or MBT-70, gives me a pretty good uh, lineup there and I get in and get some good shots into his engine, which of course doesn't start a fire and really was irrelevant because the battle ended just after that. But still, as happened so often, I had a pretty good battle and most of the rest of my team really didn't. But I ended up making almost 76,000 lions and almost 6,000 vehicle research with a loss. So just imagine if I'd have won. Anyway, that really was the first really good standout kind of battle I had with the Leopard A1A1. You can see how much uh, boosters I had there. Four kills, three captures, and an assist with the A1A1. Not too bad. Double the score of the next closest player on my team. A whole smack of awards there. And really... I mean, up until I got killed in my uh, Leopard A1A1, the battle was going pretty well. But anyhow, that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by and checking this one out. We'll see you all very soon for some more War Thunder, and have a great day, everybody. Take care.